नमस्कार वेलकम टू द वीकली वेदर डिस्कशन बाय इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट आई एम मोनिका शर्मा साइंटिस्ट डी साइक्लोन वार्निंग डिवीजन आई विल बी प्रेजेंटिंग विद यू द वेदर रियलाइज्ड ओवर द कंट्री ड्यूरिंग लास्ट वीक एंड द फोरकास्ट फॉर नेक्स्ट टू वीक्स so this is uh, about the synoptic systems uh, during the last week 11th to 17th of july and during last week if you see this is the monsoon trough and the monsoon trough on initial two days 11th and 12th it was uh, uh, slightly to the north of its normal position but thereafter it shifted to the south of its normal position and if you see uh, the cyclonic circulations there was a cyclonic circulation over the gujarat region and there was a cyclonic circulation over assam a cyclonic circulation over uh, gangetic west bengal and adjoining jharkhand and there was a cyclonic circulation over west central bay of bengal of uh, andhra pradesh coast and a low pressure area formed over the west and uh, northwest bay of bengal of south odisha coast and there was a trough along the west coast extending from south Guj gujarat to kerala and these were the main systems that affected the country during last week and under the influence of these systems if you see we received excess rainfall over western parts of the country and southern peninsular region and uh, the the rainfall was deficient over the northern parts of the country and uh, there were floods in uttar pradesh konkan and goa and if you see the highest rainfall recorded then meghalaya received 35 cm on 11th of july and uh, Uh, avalanche uh, in tamil nadu received 37 cm on 15th of july and 34 cm on 16th of july so this is the statistics of the extremely heavy highest extreme, uh, rainfall observed day wise over the country and on 11th of july mokir wat in meghalaya received 35 cm on 12th of july kila cheruvai in tamil nadu and kusmi in chatisgarh received 23 cm each on 13th of july lonawala in maharashtra received 24 cm pen in konkan and goa and castle rock in karnataka received 22 cm each jagalbat in karnataka received 25 cm on 14th of july avalanche in tamil nadu received 37 cm on 15th of july and 34 cm on 16th of july and castle rock in coastal karnataka received 24 cm on 17th of july and avalanche and valpui received 20 cm each on 17th of july so this is the uh, weekly departure of rainfall during 11th to 17th july and actually we received 58 mm rainfall over the country as a whole and if you see the normal it is about 65.6 mm and the departure was uh, 12% less than the normal that is the country received 12% less rainfall as compared to the normal and here you can see the regions that are marked with yellow and red they received deficient or large deficient rainfall that means they received the rainfall less than the normal and the regions that are marked with green they received the normal rainfall and those marked with blue and dark blue they received excess rainfall as compared to the normal and you can see that the northern parts of the country jammu kashmir region punjab himachal pradesh haryana chandigarh and then here the northeastern states uh, nagaland manipur mizoram and tripura these are the regions that received deficient rainfall and large deficient rainfall was observed over uh, arunachal pradesh then uh, gangetic west bengal west bengal uh, region then uh, odisha uh, bihar chatisgarh uh, then uh, jharkhand uh, uttar pradesh and uh, east rajasthan so these are the regions that received large deficient rainfall and excess rainfall was observed along the west coast and over the gujarat region and you can see entire central india and the southern india these are the regions that received normal or excess uh, rainfall as compared to the normal 
let us see the seasonal departure that is uh, during the period 1st june to 17th of july so country as a whole we received 305.8 mm rainfall and normal is 313.9 mm and country as a whole received 3% less than the normal and mainly the deficient regions are marked with red and the uh, the northern parts of the country jammu kashmir himachal pradesh punjab uh, haryana chandigarh delhi and then these regions uh, odisha west bengal jharkhand chatisgarh nagaland manipur mizoram tripura these are the regions that received uh, rainfall less than the normal other than that entire country uh, the major parts of the country gujarat madhya pradesh and uh, uttar pradesh and then here arunachal pradesh assam then here uh, uh, karnataka and then uh, uh, vidarbha madhya maharashtra these are the regions that received normal rainfall and excess rainfall was received over uh, maharashtra and then here andhra pradesh and then uh, tamil nadu and rail sima region uh, andaman and nicobar region let us see the main synoptic systems that are affecting the country on 18th of july so uh, today the monsoon trough is lying to the south of its normal position and it is passing through jaisalmer kota guna and then gopalpur and then coming to the center of the low pressure area that is lying over the central and adjoining north bay of bengal and there is a cyclonic circulation over uh, gujarat uh, saurashtra and adjoining northeast arabian sea and the offshore trough is extending from south gujarat to kerala region and uh, let us see the uh, expected weather on 18th of july under the influence of these systems so here you can see that uh, the areas that are marked with red orange so these are the areas where we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, with extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places uh, we are expecting over saurashtra and uh, uh, kutch region then entire gujarat uh, Uh, state then konkan and goa and here uh, the uh, south interior karnataka then tamil nadu andhra pradesh uh, then uh, odisha Ch uh, chatisgarh uh, rail sima uh, all th all these regions we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, with extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places and heavy rainfall is expected over the regions marked with yellow we are expecting heavy heavy rainfall over himachal pradesh then uttarakhand punjab haryana chandigarh delhi then rajasthan and uh, madhya pradesh and here uh, over andaman and nicobar islands and uh, uh, lakshadweep area and thunderstorm with lightning is expected over sub himalayan west bengal sikkim and then uh, uh, your uh, uh, rajasthan uh, then uh, madhya pradesh and uh, chatisgarh sub himalayan west bengal sikkim etc then on 19th of july the uh, we are expecting again all the regions that are marked with red and uh, orange here we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall with extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places so we are expecting extremely heavy rainfall at isolated places over gujarat state and then uh, konkan and goa then madhya maharashtra then uh, uh, south interior karnataka here uh, over Uh, Andhra Pradesh, uh, Rail Sima, uh, Telangana, Yanam, and uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely over Kerala and Mahe, and heavy rainfall is likely over the regions that are marked with yellow, and uh, we are expecting heavy rainfall over Himachal Pradesh and then Rajasthan, then Madhya Pradesh region and Uttar Pradesh and uh, uh, West Bengal, and uh, we are also expecting thunderstorm with lightning over West Bengal. Uh, then Sikkim, then uh, Bihar, uh, Madhya Pradesh, and uh, Rajasthan, and uh, Chhattisgarh. 
on 20th of July if you see uh, the rainfall activity will gradually reduce we are not expecting any extremely heavy rainfall on 20th of July and heavy to be very heavy rainfall is likely over Vidarbha then Chhattisgarh then Konkan and Goa region and here uh, uh, Madhya Maharashtra and uh, uh, also over uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh then Chhattisgarh uh, Rail Seema and uh, South Interior Karnataka so these are the regions that are marked with red and uh, orange and we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall and uh, uh, heavy rainfall is likely over the northeastern states Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Nagaland, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura and here over the uh, West Bengal and we are also expecting heavy rainfall over uh, uh, Rajasthan and uh, Uttar Pradesh and uh, over uh, uh, the Andhra Pradesh and uh, uh, then regarding thunderstorm and uh, with lightning, uh, we are expecting thunderstorm with lightning over Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan and uh, uh, over the Madhya Pradesh, Vidarbha and Chhattisgarh. On 21st of July, the rainfall activity will further reduce and we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall over Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and here uh, we are expecting uh, uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall over uh, Madhya Pradesh and uh, over Konkan and Goa region and uh, heavy rainfall is likely over Haryana, uh, Chandigarh and then Uttar Pradesh and here over uh, West Bengal, Odisha, then uh, Chhattisgarh, uh, then here uh, Telangana, Karnataka and thunderstorm with lightning is likely over Uttar Pradesh. These are the regions where we are expecting thunderstorm with lightning. So Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, then uh, Madhya Pradesh and then Rajasthan and uh, uh, Vidarbha and Chhattisgarh. Uh, these are the regions where we are expecting uh, thunderstorm with lightning on 21st of July. On 22nd of July, we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall over Uttarakhand and then over the uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh, then Konkan and Goa and Madhya Maharashtra and uh, Gujarat state and heavy rainfall is likely over Himachal Pradesh and then Haryana, Chandigarh and uh, Uttar Pradesh, East Rajasthan and here if you see Odisha and uh, Jharkhand and uh, over the northeastern states also we are expecting heavy rainfall and thunderstorm with lightning is likely over uh, Uttar Pradesh and then Madhya Pradesh and uh, uh, with and Chhattisgarh. Then let us see the warnings for the fishermen for next five days as we are uh, having active monsoon conditions and there is a low pressure area over the Bay of Bengal and there is uh, a trough uh, along the west coast of India. So uh, we are expecting uh, we have marked certain areas where the fishermen should not venture into sea and uh, high sea conditions are expected and uh, strong winds uh, with speed reaching uh, 35 to 40 or 45 to 55 kilometers per hour gusting to 55 kilometers per hour are expected over these regions so fishermen are advised not to venture into the areas that are marked here mainly the central and adjoining uh, southwest Arabian Sea uh, this region during next five days and then uh, entire west coast the uh, southeast and adjoining east central uh, Arabian Sea and along and off uh, the uh, uh, coastal regions of Gujarat, uh, Maharashtra, Kerala, Karnataka uh, and Comorin area and uh, Gulf of Manar during next five days and over the Bay of Bengal uh, fishermen are advised not to venture into central and adjoining south Bay of Bengal uh, during uh, next five days and uh, into uh, north Bay of Bengal from uh, 19th onwards and into North Andaman Sea on 18th and 19th. 
so this is uh, the damage expected and action suggested so under the influence of these systems uh, and uh, because we are expecting heavy rainfall and thunderstorm activity so there may be localized flooding of roads there may be water logging of low lying areas closure of underpasses then occasional reduction in visibility disruption of traffic due to uh, heavy rains minor damage to kachar roads damage to vulnerable structure there can be localized landslides mudslides landslips mudslips landslips etc and there can be damage to horticulture and standing crops in some areas so it is advised that you should check for traffic congestion before leaving for your destination follow traffic advisories follow the advisories by india meteorological department and avoid going to areas that face water logging problems avoid staying in vulnerable structures let us see the forecast for next two weeks so uh, the map uh, the map on the top it shows the uh, forecast rainfall based on the extended range forecast model of india meteorological department during the next two weeks and the lower map this indicates the departure from the normal so here you can see that during week 1 we are expecting this entire region the central southern parts and western coast west coast of india uh, these are the regions that are uh, expected to receive rainfall more than the normal and during week 2 if you compare uh, week 2 and week 1 during week 2 uh, slightly subdued rainfall activity is uh, uh, expected and we are expecting uh, above normal rainfall over gujarat region and then here uh, east rajasthan and then some parts of madhya pradesh odisha and chatisgarh and along the west coast uh, but it is slightly less as compared to the week 1 and uh, regarding the northern parts of the country you can see uh, we are expecting rainfall uh, below uh, normal and here uh, during week 2 also the rainfall is likely to be less as compared to the normal Uh, let us see the cyclogenesis forecast over the north indian ocean during next two weeks so currently there is a low pressure area over uh, central and adjoining north bay of bengal it is likely to move northwestwards and intensify into a well marked low pressure area by 19th of july that is tomorrow and there is moderate probability that it will intensify into a depression over northwest and adjoining west central bay of bengal and uh, we request you to uh, please uh, visit the website of imd for latest updates we have mausam website and rsmc website and we also post uh, regularly on the social networking sites like facebook twitter instagram youtube etc so stay tuned to all these sites and we have various mobile apps also mausam app damini and meedu app so you can get the weather information on these apps so thank you